Grace and peace to each of you. My name is Scott Metter, pastor at Lovely Lane United Methodist Church. I just wanted to check in with each of you and just let you know that we're keeping you in our thoughts and prayers. Hope you're looking after yourself, but uh, also looking after others. And uh, I would even say during a difficult time, sometimes the uh, best in each of us comes out. And I've heard many good stories about uh, many folk reaching out to one another. Might ask you to have a special preference to those a little bit uh, older, maybe those who have been shut in for some time. If you might give them an extra phone call, uh, maybe just an extra note in the mail, or if you're running an errand to the store, let them know that you can uh, pick up something. Uh, many of the folk in our shepherding ministry are going to uh, do extra things right now. So again, really appreciate what they are all doing and what each of you can do too. As far as things go here at the church, we pretty much have uh, shut everything down. Don't really have much going on in our building through the end of this month and probably through a good part of April. So we'll just continue to monitor the progress there. Might mention that as far as our worship services go, we will have a live stream worship service this coming Sunday at 1030. We had a live stream service last week and it was actually kind of a neat experience. So we'll uh, do it again. We'll let you know how you can access the service and get on board. So we'll communicate that information coming up and we'll have a few extra enhancements to our service this coming Sunday. Maybe a little bit of music and a few extra things that uh, we are doing. So again, we'll kind of keep uh, moving forward with all of that. would also ask you to continue to give faithfully to the church. Uh, please mail in offerings to the church. You can also go on our website. And if you look at the top of the home page, there's a link there that uh, gives you different ways that you can give electronically, give online. So please take advantage of that. Uh, your giving really helps us continue to do the ministry that uh, we need to do. I might mention that some of our groups are meeting using video teleconferencing. So there are some groups that definitely need to meet. So it's great that we have technology to do that and we'll continue to uh, keep in touch as we are able. I might also mention that during times like this, these are times to kind of go a little bit deeper with your faith, to kind of, uh, kind of connect with God just a little bit more. So I might ask you to continue to increase your prayer life and to continue to pray for those around you. Uh, you might uh, also start reading the scripture maybe a little bit more diligently. One thing that I often mention is to start reading the Gospel of Mark. If you really haven't done scripture reading for some time, start with Mark's Gospel. Mark's Gospel is only 16 chapters long, a lot of action. The word immediately is used like over 40 times. So read a chapter or two a day and kind of see where that goes for you. Uh, if you get done with Mark's Gospel, go to Matthew's Gospel, read the rest of the New Testament, and then you can move on to the Old Testament. I'll ask you to simply reflect on some words from a favorite hymn or maybe words from a favorite song. A favorite hymn of mine is Spirit of the Living God. And I look at the words in that hymn and I reflect on those words. Those words are, Spirit of the Living God, fall afresh on me. Melt me, mold me, fill me, use me. Spirit of the Living God, fall afresh on me. So reflect on words like that. Again, another way that you can deepen your spirit life and uh, come just a little bit closer to God. But again, blessings to each of you during this time. Let us continue to look after each other and let us see that through all of this, God is good, God is faithful, and God continues to walk with us. Take care and blessings.